Idiot! <laughs> what the That's fuck? Incredible! What the fuck is that, dude? Go! Oh, fuck! Jesus Christ! Welcome to Wine for the People. We're blind tasting some wines today. We've got six in front of us. We don't know what they are or how much they cost. We're just going to tell you how much we would buy at what price we would pay for them. Kindly supplied by our friends at Sometimes Always. If you'd like a 10% discount code on any of the wines we try today, jump in the link below, head to our Discord channel, and you'll get that discount code. We're asking you guys, where would you like to go on holiday? What is your like dream winery destination? Like, I'd love to head to Sicily or Germany or the Loire Valley or even somewhere locally. Like, I'm still desperate for it to get to Margaret River. Anyways, without too much mucking around, let's try some wine. Also, we got a bunch of reds this week. Maybe a little bit of a rosé floating around in the middle there, but we can find out. That looks lush. Mm -hmm. Raspberry hued and faded ring little number. Yeah, gorgeous, pretty, lifted. I'm getting the Pinot vibes on this one already. Yeah, little to no acid, and that's just pure Grenache, but then that like, ah, oh, this is one of my favorite things about Grenache is that it feels like there's no flavor immediately and then there's this like snowball effect that starts at the back of your tongue of just like all of these like brambly cherries just like running through and it's feeling your tongue out. Tastes good too. I like it. It's not giving me that sort of like uh, heartburn thing that sometimes red wine gives me, which um, probably need to see a GP about more than anything else, but gonna go for 35 bucks, gonna buy six. Just wanna see a little bit more complexity. But that doesn't mean it's a bad thing. It's really fucking delicious. Who's that Pokemon? It's Lada, Shay's flat fresco sand. Wine number two, slightly deeper, slightly darker. Oh yeah, a little bit of funk here, a little bit of kind of VA, kind of characters here, so feeling old world. Oh yeah, oh 12, yes, huge yes. That is so light and delicate and delicious and cool. I'm surprised that it smells how it does. Bit of a clip finished, it's not really got too much. The flavor is like, it's here for a good time and a long time. It's just like, bang, you got these like really racy red fruits. As romantic as I could possibly be about the nose of that, the palette is metallic. And that is the telltale sign of when it kind of gets too far and it clips the, the, the back palette. So it actually kind of uh, finishes and just drops the fuck off and I don't taste anything right now. Good, let's go fucking magic number, bro. Let's just do it. 12, definitely. Uh, I reckon it might be a little bit, I think it's a Pinot in a Noir and I'll pay 50 bucks for it. Really, really dig that wine. All right, we've got a rosé. Could be a Romato style, could be an orange wine and it's cloudy. So, which is um, a little bit uncouth for a rosé. Yeah, I've seen some lacto ferments go like this and cool cocktail bars. Yeah, that smells like peaches and cream. I don't think I'm going to like the taste of it. That's usually how it goes. I either like the smell of the orange wine and hate the taste, or I hate the, ta uh, hate the smell and like the taste. Oh, baby, I was wrong. That tastes like peaches. That is lovely. Amazing lusciousness on the attack. It reminds me of Viognier in this respect, where it's quite bulbousness on the front. The acidity is sitting a little bit lower, which are kind of pleasant. Very honey, like pure honeydew. It's like literally eating honeydew. Cool texture. It's got this like kind of like oily, sweet texture, but it's not like sugary. And then it finishes off nicely. It's like every part of like, it's coated the underside and around my tongue. It's like I'm wearing like this tongue sleeve of grapes. Weird thing to say. That might be my favorite orange wine that we've had on the show. It's got this sort of really floral start. I would pay $28 a bottle for it, ambitiously. I will probably pay a little bit more, to be, to be fair. But I would definitely buy 12. I, that's really, really yummy. It's just yummy. Cool wine. Anyways, number four, back to the reds. Kind of smells like fresh cut grass, which I'm into. I like the smell of fresh cut grass. Fresh cut grass. Dense, there's a density, there's like a density to it. A little cloud of aroma. Young wine, pretty powerful, decent tannin, great structure. We're not talking like Nebbiolo level tannins, but we're talking about highly pixelated, very dense tannins. Oh, tannin's beautiful. Voluptuous, like, rambly black fruits. That'd be a great pub red wine. Tastes like red wine, but it also is not super wild or super interesting. Um, I'd pay like 40 bucks a bottle for it and I would buy three. You know, I'd want to lay it down in the cellar for at least two to three years just to really see how it would, how it sort of goes from there. So. I'm going to go 35. Excellent wine. Really, really love that wine. Definitely nostalgic a little bit for me. 
love that texture. Um, amazing, bright, juicy fruits. Uh, super, super good. I reckon this is going to be a hit with all of us. Wine number five. Slightly lighter, but again, we're really splitting hairs here talking about the different colors of these red wines. Like they are all very similar. Tannin, full, dense, but sandy, high acid. Um, beautiful wine, really, really beautiful wine. Great length, fans out. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love that. The tannin profile is just so fine and quartz-like. This is sick. Oh yeah, smells like strawberry jam, tastes like strawberry jam. Um, put this on toast, hell yeah. Um, I just haven't seen this level of oak integration come out of the new world in like, unless in really particular circumstances. Um, and if it is, happy to be wrong, because I'm gonna be buying this wine, at least 12 bottles of it. Oh wow, I really love this. I really, really love this. This is so far, absolute wine to line up. Uh, $90 please, uh, epic wine. Epic wine, could be burgundy even. Fuck, it could be a bunch of things. This is a stunning wine, stunning wine. Mm. And wine number six. Yeah. Smells sublime. You know, it's such a, a dainty little thing. Mm. Really classy. Really classy. Great acid. Really great, like, fruit profile. Lovely kind of stone fruit thing. Lemon curd. Got a nice grassy element, too. Yeah, a little bit of a floral thing, a bit hibiscus-y. It's pretty cool. I'll have six of them, and I'll pay 40 bucks a bottle for it. Not enough acidity to really make it crackling, not enough texture to make it really broad. Just a really quality style of wine. Very pristine, a little bit grassy. Little, little bit grassy, that's kind of my only little sting on it. So it could be like a, a Sam Sav or Sav number or something like that, or like a Pinot Gris kind of thing, but quite pleasant. I quite liked it. I, I think it's something like Green of Elena. Great, great execution, brilliantly well made. Six of them, and I'd probably pay um, $32 a bottle for it. Yeah, well done. See what the other guys think. How are we, everybody? Awesome. Good, good. Uh, how was the lineup? Better. Better than last week. Yeah, yeah. he's been yes. way yeah. better. Wine number one. Yeah. Henry, you have been talking about uh, not being able to identify the difference between Pinot Noir and Grenache for months. Yep. Write this down, my okay. friend. Okay. But what about, oh, let's say it at the same time. Ready? Yeah. You guess this as yeah. one, <laughs> two, three. Grenache. <laughs> <laughs> it's written right. right there. And when I guess it, I'm like, the boys are going to be so disappointed in me. I can't fucking do it, man. Pinot Noir. No, this is Grenache. This is 100%. Surely it's Wait, Grenache. Wait, what the fuck's going no, on? No, he ruined it. He fucking ruined it. This is the absolute definition of Grenache. See, I call it Pinot. Oh my god. What? How do you expect me to succeed? I've got both of you as If teachers. I'm wrong, then I'm like, this is fucked. Alright, um, <laughs> I wanted six bottles of it, $35 a bottle. And I was at 35 bucks a bottle and I wanted six bottles. I wanted 12 and I was happy to pay 50. Cool. No! Oh! Shit, that's probably a Pinot. A hot climate. God damn it, fuck, really? Oh, shit! Cool. Setting. Uh, it's not. It, it, feels, it feels good to be in the hole with you. <laughs> it's it's hotter than it looks, How the fuck man. did that happen? Oh my well, it's god! It's definitely not uh, hot climate. It's climate. not hot climate. It's definitely not hot climate. Yeah, Tasmania. Uh, I feel like an idiot. Yeah. And you know what? It I've makes all... a really good YouTube though. So don't. Uh, you know what yeah, I've always said about Tasmanian Pinot Noir though. Yeah, it just looks like McLaren. Indistinguishable. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> indistinguishable from McLaren <laughs> Valve. It's an excellent wine, regardless. It is good. It's yeah. an excellent wine. Yeah. Now this is Pinot Noir, baby. Um, yeah, it definitely could be. Uh, definitely like hands off natty number kind of thing. Mm. I had a bit of VA, which I liked. One bottle for ten bucks. I really I, I lethal. Uh, it was a bit lethal. Yeah. I was six for thirty-eight for that one. Talk. Oh ladder. Oh boy. Oh ladder. San Giovese. I mean, I mean. No, I like it. Um, it's definitely not probably at the apex of his skills. Um, I think he's a much better winemaker than this wine kind of presents. But that being said, it is a very easy drinking, light-bodied, fun little red wine. Uh, alrighty. Uh, always great orange wine. Uh, the style I like. A little bit more rustic, a little bit more peach fuzzy. Uh, in that kind of like hardcore skin contact Pinot Gris vibe. I liked it. I really quite I like reckon it. The, the skin contact Pinot Gris Romato vibe such a good shout. Yeah, I'm yeah. pretty confident this is going to be wine of the week. <laughs> yeah, you have to think so. Uh, I want a 12 uh, for sure. Yeah. Uh, 28 bucks. Ambitious. I had 12 for 48. Realistic. Yeah. Right in the middle. Magic number. Uh, Glad to see this win of Wine of the Week. I'm calling it now. I call it I would now? die on a hill. Uh, I love his wines. Yeah. I love him and I love that. Uh, what variety do you reckon that is? Gewurz. Snap blend. No. Nah. With Gionia? No. Nah. Production Shen. dog. No. Nah. Arnais. To all the people that live in the Roero, there's a really great example of what you can do with Arnais. Yeah, so Skinzy Arnais from the Vale, I believe, and probably farms 
beautifully and made beautifully and yeah great wine great dude all that kind of thing right price off we go uh number four um well wow, i really really like this i really yeah. really like this really nostalgic for me it reminds mm. me of a lot of unico wines it reminds me of stuff mm. like pipe dream and um oh no, i should say narrow because i was like that was the first thing i smelled i think narrow is a really good shout on this one mm. insane mm. absolutely is great uh 12 for 35. yeah i had six for 30 and i thought it was pretty ash again Okay. So yeah. what no, it definitely could be. Uh, lucky, what do we got? Oh, oh boy. bloody uh, little point your own number. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, damn. Yep, yeah, that's wine. I love oh, that yeah. label for that price of wine as well. Yeah. Yeah. That's actually, yeah. A, you've actually called that for pub wine. Well done. Dude. That is like, definitely, that is a, that's French pub wine. Well, that's Pichot wine. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna be a Grenache, Syrah, Mataro blend, um, yeah. Verdure, all uh, over blend. It. Yeah, GSM kind of uh, Rhone Valley. It's all from a cooperative, so it's like, um, yeah, just that, negotiation free given to a one they producer. Make bucket loads of this. Yeah, stuff. like yeah. metric shit. But this one right here. Oh, strawberry jam. Let's this, go. This, 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 is, fucked this is this is this is my one of the week. Yeah. It was it was the one yes, that I so. spend the most on and bought the most of. So that's what I was. Um, that's that's what integration looks yeah, like. Absolutely epic. Twelve bottles and ninety that's bucks just plus gorgeous. for me. Easy, that is just easy. gorgeous. Amazing wine. Uh, I was twelve for thirty-eight because I don't know anything about expensive wine. <laughs> that's what we just covered. <laughs> Idiots! <Ha! laughs> what the that's fuck? Incredible! What the fuck is that, dude? Twenty-five dollars. I that. am a gay. I'm, gonna get, <laughs> I'm getting on sometimes always now. I'm buying this. We're gonna have a. We're gonna definitely uh, gonna have we, an Italian we, we're Christmas. We're gonna wholesale this. Back that is hell awesome. Yeah. That's insane. That yeah. is awesome. I'll sell it to you for sixty-five. That is what good Nero looks like. That is. That is. That's fucking gnarly. That is incredible. She. Oh man. Get fucked. That's definitely one of the league. Oh, fuck yeah, it's one of the league. Oh, that's insane. That is insane. I'm. Um, that's gorgeous. That is absolutely stunning. I thought it was Benita. Benita. Yeah, dude. I thought it was both. And then unfortunately, this this wine just came next. Yeah, yeah, legit. Genuinely <laughs> it's just legit. So, it's, it's so unfortunate. It was just like, it was power cleansing. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I, I was like, like middle of the road price. I was like 35 bucks on it and like six. Yeah. I, was, I was 40 and three. 40 and six. Okay. Good. 30, 30 is what you but want. It's a new midweek one. Yeah, no, exactly. Suave! Yay! Yeah, yeah. literally, as if that's what Suave should be. As like that, that price point, that style, that refreshment, easy drinking, bang. Go down the bottle shop, label. off you go. Really cool. Well, yeah. I call that one of my favorite wines of the year. Like, honestly, Shit. like, yeah, cool. as far as like on the show, fuck, it was pretty epic. Pretty epic. Or Stupid order is going in when I get outside of a room. That's that's gonna be How my Christmas. That that's gonna be my Christmas. How did that happen? Yeah. Uh, well, um, until next week, we're here. Bye bye. <laughs> Ding, 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 ding.